You know, as we find ourselves surrounded by reality, which is too extreme for fantasy, we all need to find an escape. Don't judge me. Like my buddy Nelson Abbick's books. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> These, Freedom's Forge, stories about all of the shenanigans that took place in the Revolutionary War. Or if you have a short attention span, try his Too Cool for Earth series. It's about colonists in space. There's a monkey called Bobby Bananas. He's not evil, just kind of secretive. Like everyone else in this story. <laughs> what are you gonna do? He's also hairy. I kind of like a shaved monkey myself, but not in this context. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, you can get the first Too Cool for Earth story for just 99 cents. Go to abixrealms.com. Links are in the Meat Gazer box. Meat Gazer! Holy shit! How did I wind up back here? It's a blast from the past, baby! I guess you could say I'm a time traveling hobgoblin. <laughs> Winning now. What's going on, guys? Terrence Pop here, Redarculus.com, and I'm in front of the boards. This was heavily requested. I am going to share with you today a small piece of my insanity. <laughs> That's probably why I don't sleep. But it also explains why some of you dudes out there have a high amount of stalkers. Because some of you, and you know who you are, you know it's late at night, it's like 10 o'clock, you're scoping, the good targets leave, there's a four, slump buster, you drink her up to an eight, and then you fuck up and give her the 10 dick. What are you thinking? I hope for your sake you gave her a fake name. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, how you doing? I'm Bendy Dick Comment Snatch, nice to meet you. Of course that's my real phone number. Oh, oh, don't text it now, I'm not gonna answer it, that'd be rude. We've all been there, but it takes an insane drunk army grunt to put it on a board. <laughs> so we're gonna spell it out for you dudes, and I call this the one to ten dick dilemma. And if you don't know what that dilemma is, you're about to find out. Yeah. All right, before we get started, if you haven't become a supporter, please consider doing so. Because if you think YouTube actually pays this money, <laughs> you're out of your goddamn minds. All right, with that being said, <laughs> get ready because I'm going to share <laughs> my thoughts with you. All dudes, and I don't care who you are, your performance is going to fall on a bell curve. Which means most of you, no matter how much of a racy dick you think you have, you're only going to perform at a 4, 5, or a 6. That's not your best, that's just the average. But, and you guessed it, there's a whole bunch of factors in there that'll drive that bell curve to the right and <laughs> to the left. And I don't need to go any further to the left. <laughs> you hear me, Toby? Yeah, fuck you, Pop. Hey, come on now. Uh, somebody have some hard feelings? Screen five. <laughs> Bro, that's so cold, man. Now, the primary thing that messes with the plumbing is age. We've all experienced this. You get around 38 and you start getting a bunch of emails for dick pills. Oh, and it's all spam. You are on a database called the South Point and Diacas. South Point and Diacas? Huh. Kind of sounds like a motorcycle gang. No crotch rockets allowed. <laughs> because all the rest of ours are broken. Oh, shit. All right, now we all know what Whiskey Diaca is. Raise your hands. Yeah, yeah, I know, I knew it was you. Prior to 38, you don't have a hydraulic problem, so drink up. Ha <laughs> ha! Remember when you were younger and somebody did that at a party and it took about 30 seconds for the pain to set in? <laughs> oh, I'll be right back. You don't have to hit nuts. You just have to graze nuts. That's exactly. And if you get to a certain age, you just gotta shine light on the nuts and it hurts. So. Oh. 
But I went off in the weeds. Cue the sound effects. Prior to 38, you drink some whiskey, you're going to add plus two to your performance. So if your natural performance is a five and you rock some whiskey, you're going to be pumping at a seven. I know what you're thinking, Pop, that's great. <laughs> but <laughs> every story has a tragic ending. You know what they say about good things? They always come to a fucking end. And I said fucking there because the fucking you get might not be worth the fucking you get when you find two pounds of bologna on your car ripping off the paint. Not that I would know anything about that. <laughs> Space Ghost. Over the age of 38, you drink some whiskey. You're taking your chances of playing that game of pool with rope. Now, in any game of dirty pool, <laughs> You need a sharp stick. Yeah, I like that say. That should be on a t-shirt. <laughs> Bottom line, nothing is going to screw up your natural performance better than <laughs> aging. Thankfully, it's kind of like my hairline. It's a slow burn, <laughs> if you know what I mean. And the next thing, and that could either enhance or take away from your performance, that is experience. Now, uh, I abbreviated lack of experience, L-O-E, because when you suffer from L-O-E, you're not really getting a H-O-E. But that's good news, because the last thing you want when you suffer from L-O-E is H-I-V, screen five. <laughs> now, most dudes in this category, they're still in high school. There are some dudes in high school, by the time they graduate, they are seasoned Bushmen, if you know what I mean. But that is the exception, not the rule. And 20 years later, those guys don't look so good. So basically, I'm trying to tell you this. At any given time, at some point, we all suffered from LOE. Now we all know what that experience is like when you jump from LOE to normal. That can be quite embarrassing. The first time up to the bat, you're going to bunt if you even hit the ball at all. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> and some of you unfortunate dudes, you're going to do a swing and a miss. And you're going right back to the showers long before anyone else does. The game isn't even over yet and somebody else stepped up to take care of your foul ball. What the hell did you just say? Now most people are going to stay in the normal experience level for the rest of their lives. And this results on average between one and five, sometimes seven sexual partners. Now the normal amount for ladies is going higher and higher throughout time <laughs> to the point it's like nauseating. We've made whole videos about this, so I'm not going to touch it and you shouldn't touch it either. Instead of getting HPV, go buy an RV and see the world. Once you go over the average amount of trim, you will become experienced. <laughs> but those two extra points added to your performance come with an increased risk. STIs are not like Pokemon. You don't need to catch them all, just, just so you know. That's how you get tick ticks and scabies on your labias. <laughs> She doesn't have bed bugs, gentlemen. She's got scotchy chingos, which means your little buddies. Yes, gentlemen, you can rattle headboards and chicken slap a lot of these women around with that experience, but you better wrap that tool. Otherwise, you're a fool because she's not on the pill and she probably has something nasty. And don't forget this fact, gentlemen. Every dude who showed up and dumped his goo and ran like a Jew left his DNA behind within her that lives in her brain until she dies. It's called the Chimera Effect, gentlemen. If you don't believe me, look it up and bring a bucket. Don't you wish you could clean these women out like an old uh, water heater? You know, you pull the drain plug and you watch all of the befoulment leak out. Oh, God. <laughs> now that I put that thought in your heads, let us continue. Next, we have Booze Boost, and I shouldn't have to explain this one, but all men think like this, and don't lie to me, because you know you do. It is 1.30 a.m., and all of the good trim has already been nailed to the wall, if you know what I mean. The only one left that you could possibly get with, she's a six, but beer goggles, <laughs> that makes her an eight. 
Unfortunately for you and your drunken stupor, not that I know anything about that, you fooled yourself into thinking she's a natural eight. So you're planning to give her a minimum of the eight dick mistake. And that is how you wind up with a stalker. The higher you go up on the factor, the longer they stalk you for. Now we've all been there and I'm guilty of this myself, gentlemen, so I'm not judging you. I myself have the experience points and we all know how much I love the whiskey. <laughs> I was handed out 10 dick like coupons at a swap meet, screen five. <laughs> but uh, causes problems. This is how you wind up getting your car keyed, your tires slashed, your house set on fire, or compromising photos showing up in a mass email at your work. Oh my God! And if they're real freaky, you're gonna get pictures of waterworks because she thinks two girls one cup is a porno. It's not! And the best way to create a stalker is to treat a slump buster like a supermodel. What, what are you thinking? If she's a four and you give her the 10 dick, guess what? <laughs> you got yourself a permanent attachment to your hip. You guys ever see that movie Basket Case? Yeah, it's kind of like that. Imagine giving the 10 dick to this woman. She will cling to you like lint in a dryer trap. And you risk turning her into an alpha widow. You don't want that. The last thing that this world needs is yet more fours thinking they're tens when they're not. So do yourself and these ladies a favor and just leave them alone. The worst thing you could do is give them yet more attention. Because when you do, you, you know what you get? OnlyFans, and we all know how that's working out. Speaking of OnlyFans, the next thing on the list, dimensional lumber. Do I need to explain this? <laughs> Space Coast. Dimensional lumber is best explained this way. Most dudes, they're packing a two by four. Dimensional lumber occurs when you're packing four by four, or two by eight, a six by six. You get the drift. And for the ladies out there that just have to have the six by six, taps the 21 for your blown out dead whistle sack. <laughs> and speaking of scorched girth, <laughs> this will give you a plus two, but dimensional lumber, booze boost, any of this, it doesn't mean anything if you show up to the game and you're a two-pump chump. If you're a pinto penis and uh, you explode on rear impact, I have one piece of advice for you. You always risk an accidental discharge if you leave a round in the chamber, <laughs> if you know what I mean. You better pull us something about Mary before you go out that night, I'm just, I'm just saying. Now the average length of time for shag nanigans is between four and seven minutes. Now, if you come in under that, you're gonna get a minus one. Unless it's an agreed upon quickie behind the restaurant at the dumb cum stir, if you know what I mean. But every time you double the average, you add one more to your score. So if you could pull out <laughs> a 15 minute session is plus one and a 30 minute session plus two. Now, most women do not wanna go beyond 30 minutes. There is a finite amount of lubrication in that hole. And if you go too long, it becomes like sandpaper and people get pissed off. When it comes to shag nanigans, you can have too much of a good thing. Now, in that short amount of time, the action is taking place. If you can work in more than two position shifts, you're going to get additional points because you know what the fuck you're doing. Most dudes stick to the three old faithfuls, missionary, doggy, and cowgirl. And we're not talking about reverse cowgirl because it's not pleasurable for anyone and you kind of run the risk of breaking your dick. But if you can manipulate that woman like a Rubik's cube, ah, oh, they love it. You got legs up here, you're flipping her over, the one leg up. You're, I mean, literally, it looks like break dancing in your bed, but there's sex in between. But do not be an overachiever here because it maxes out at just one point. Now we're going to talk about you. Well, not you, the guy, the guy behind you, that, that dumb one there. Your looks will actually add to your performance because the hotter you look, the more into it she will become. 
And that will show when you get into the Labada, you know, the forbidden dance. And yes, I just dated myself all the way back to the Stone Age. <laughs> Epic fail, Space Ghost. The looks factor in this is very simple. If you're a four to six, no bonus. Seven or eight, plus one, nine or 10, plus two. And according to all of the women polled on OK Stupid, none of you are 10, so don't even worry about that. And for all those ladies out there who think I'm shallow, here are all the graphs, so shut your mouth unless my dick is in it. <laughs> Winning. Now we're gonna get into special touches, if you know what I mean. I call them dial and pegs for a reason. And when they're big enough, it's hard to explain, but you wanna mush them together into one big one. It's weird. Now, not all women are into this, but if she's into you, chances are she will love this as well. Bottom line, bang her hard, pull her hair, and slap the ever-loving shit out of her ass. Just because you don't have dimensional lumber does not mean you cannot be memorable. How do you become memorable? You go more than 15 minutes, you pull her hair, slap her ass. Ha <laughs> ha, screen five. <laughs> and it helps if you smell nice. You get a point for that as well. You see the dangers here, gentlemen? A lot of the stuff you're not even fucking trying. And one of the simplest ways to smell nice is simply wash and manscape so you don't have a buildup of funk down there in your jungle down south. Same rules that apply to men also apply to women in this instance. Women do not like stinky poles. No one likes stinky holes and no one likes stinky poles. Fact, not opinion. I shouldn't say uh, no one. There's always that one deviant motherfucker out there that'll do whatever, and all I need is a six pack and some imagination. <laughs> there are dudes out there that not only are they getting their red wings, but they take selfies while they're doing it, and they share that shit with their friends. Disgusting. And there are some women out there who like that uh, four or five course meal on your foreskins. Oh, disgusting. Bottom line, gentlemen, it doesn't matter how much stuff I put on this board. I can't cover everyone. This is just the major points. The last on this list, tongue ops. If your game is on point, you can add up to three points of performance on this list. But, ladies, if your downstairs mix-up smells like somebody opened a fresh grave, you're not getting that done to you. I'm sorry. Why do you think guys get caught doing this one classic mistake? called smelling their own finger. It's a litmus test if you're gonna go south of eight mile or not. I'm just saying. You might get mad if you catch us doing it, but bottom line, if you smell, we don't care. How dare you? The last thing on this list before we move on to the example, some women are just wired way differently. Some women have erogenous zones in very odd places. And if you know where they are, and you can trigger them all around the same time, Automatic stalker. You ever see those videos where women arch their backs so hard you can hear them cracking across the room? <laughs> I rest my case. And just like tongue ops, you can add an additional one to three. If you're into this and you're younger than 38 and you have plenty of experience and you don't even have to drink her up to an eight, you're packing dimensional lumber and you can rock an additional time, you're an expert at position shifts, you look at, your looks are like an eight, you'd like to pull that hair like a rodeo, smells nice, and your tongue ops are on point. You're a god. Are you a god? Ray? Oh, come on, Ray. Yes. Word of warning, gentlemen. If you go beyond 10 dick, I'm talking 15, 20 dick, you're not gonna get rid of them. They're stage five clingers. You just elevated yourself in their eyes from dude to God. And you know what we do with gods? They get worshiped. And once you have that locked in, it's really hard to get rid of it. And that is why you never, ever give the four the 10 dick. Because you can choose between having a girlfriend or a fanatic. Fanatic doesn't sound so good. With that being said, we're going to the other board so I can show you an example. Situation. You're 22. Downtown Royal Oak, Michigan, hanging out in Mr. B's bar, trying to scope in some strange, and you're not having any luck. It's getting late, 
Options are getting thin. Well, not thin because the average dress size is 14. You could go home and do a hand load. <laughs> Or you could go after Mary Jane Rotten Crotch and risk a dick worm. Well, you're 22. <laughs> dick worm it is. <laughs> and why? Because you still have 12 years before the big head overpowers the little head. And the little head has a hole in it where all the bad decisions come out. And you're about to unload all those bad decisions right on Mary Jane Rotten Crotch. Let us begin. Now, to be fair... Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Well, to be fair. She is a five, but it is dark in there. But you've been drinking since you got there at 10 p.m. And she's looking like a seven now. You are rocking a basic performance rating of a five. Now, the original example was for an older dude banging a chick named Sally. But it's current year. Men can have periods now. Things change, screen five. <laughs> Hey, what are you going to do? You're 22 and you're loaded. Plus two. You got normal experience and normal dimensional lumber, so you got two goose eggs for that. But you know your positions and you look okay. <laughs> Plus one each. Well, you know how to pull the hair, manscape, and slap that ass. Another plus two. Your tongue ops, they're okay. They're not elite, but they're still a plus one. And... You can rock it for 15 minutes or more, so plus one there, too. So at the end of the day, what do we got here, Johnny? Let's add it up. Five plus two is seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. You are working a thirteen on a five. Stalker, don't do that. Moral of the story here. Never overshoot their looks with dick performance. If you value your sanity, time, or quite possibly your life. You know what a bunny boiler is, gentlemen? <laughs> Enough said. This is the goal, gentlemen. After it's all said and done, and she links back up with her gaggle of friends or the herd because size 14 and all, you want her to response to be something like this. You know that guy the other night? Eh, he's okay. That is what you want. They're not going to blow your phone up. You're not going to damage your car. You're going to be good. You got away clean if you wrapped your tool and didn't perform like a fool. I'm just saying. You weren't shitty. You weren't great. You were average. Average can be forgotten. And that is what you want. Now I know what you're thinking. Pop, how does a dude who performs at a natural five keep it at a natural five when he has all this extra stuff? I'm going to tell you. You need to start screwing like a Democrat. You promise them the world, and you give them the bare minimum. Ha <laughs> ha, screen five. <laughs> hey baby, I'm sorry, but you know, I left some welfare crumbs on your pillow. <laughs> Space ghost. Well, you know, there's a couple things here. One, it's funny. Two, it's kind of piggish. And three, it's for entertainment purposes only. But, bottom line here, every dude thinks these thoughts. Maybe a little differently, but we all do it. Even the men out there who raised their hand and basically swore off their toxic masculinity. Yeah, those guys think like this too. Shut up. And that's why a lot of them are in jail for rap. Hey, <laughs> screen five. <laughs> all right, gentlemen. If there's any additional modifiers, add them to the comments. And maybe if I get enough, I'll do another one like this down the road. Winning. And ladies, I'm only seeing this equation from one side. So if you think of anything, let me know. Are you the five who got the 12 dick in the restroom at the bowling alley? <laughs> Tell me how it worked out for you. And most importantly, how long did you actually stalk him for? Because I want to come up with some rules for that. <laughs> Is it like one month for every point over 10? Wow, <laughs> that's a video that get us banned from YouTube. Rules for stalking. <laughs> hey, I'm done with you. Take it easy. <laughs> nah, man, I remember that in the army on a Saturday, the medic would come into the bay. All right, we gotta do a delousing because Ernest over here has got himself some crotch crickets. 
<laughs> I was like, God damn it! The whole day's gone. You're not, you, you don't get done until like three in the afternoon because he, he's got to watch you wash all your clothes and watch you wash all your bedding. And I mean, it's fucking, what an asshole.